welcome to the AR bolding tutorial we're going to explain in a few simple steps how to get this package working in your computer and export it to Android the first thing you have to do is to go and Google AR core download unity go to the first link and then go to unity here AR core SDK for unity quick start for Android you can go and download the software here so once you have downloaded this you have to import it into your project I have already downloaded it mine is version 1.11 and once you have decompressed it and prepare the package for importing you will see the following you will have a Google AR core here that is going to be the main folder and then you will have the play services resolver which has also more information that is going to be imported so you hit import and you will have those new folders into your project the next step is to import our AR bolding you can do that using the asset store looking for our our package so once you have done that done that you will be able to see the AR bowling folder inside you have a scene that is called the AR prefab scene and if you want to build this scene into your Android device you go ahead and you go to file build settings player settings you change the name of the company you change the name of the product you go to other settings you do the same for the package name here com dot whatever you want dot whatever you want and remember to set the AR core supported to true in the XR settings once you have done that you will be able to build your bowling application and test it into your Android device once you have succeeded in obtaining all the folders and making your own export to Android let's talk a little bit about the different parts of this program first of all we have the example controller which has the AR bowling the AR bowling uses as you can see here the pins which will be set by the bowling the distance player to ball which will be the li uh, limitation of movement of the ball regarding the camera of the player then we have different booleans that are used to know the state or the stage in which we are uh, while we are instantiating the ball or if we are checking the state of the pins etc we'll see that later and then we have the different managers and prefabs that we use in our game then we have different game objects that come from the example of the hello AR from AR core and finally we have the bowling the bowling it's a game object that must be deactivated must be disabled as you can see here whenever we export to our game but if you want to test and debug how the package works um, you have to enable it like this so we have a script that is called the score script that allows the player to generate the different part of the ground of the bowling area and manages the state of the pins let's see this by hitting play when you hit play you will see that the ground is auto generated accordingly to the position of the pins imagine now that we're going to play 
Whenever the ball hits the pins, it will happen something like this. The pins will fall. Each of the pins has a script that is called pins and has a tip which will be used to know the actual direction of the up transform of the pin. That will be compared with the initial position and it will set the falling boolean to true. This is used to compute the points that the user obtains in each row. Then you can go to the example controller and hit check pins. Check pins will generate the different points of the row, in this case eight points. Imagine that you hit the two pins that are left with the ball and they fall. And you go and check pins again. In this case you have a spare. When you finish the round, the pins will go to its original position again. If you repeat the process, you will be able to know how the points and the score evolve. In this case, we have a spare and the points of the first frame are calculated using the second frame results. For more information about scoring, please Google Bowling Scoreboard. The Bowling Scoreboard will help you know which is the way we have implemented the scoring in this game. In order to finish this tutorial, we want to thank you for watching this video. We hope you consider downloading our products, especially this one. And we wanted just to tell you that more things about AR are coming to the Unity Asset Store in the next few months.